guys, I'm Sriman. Welcome to today's podcast episode. In this series of podcasts, we are going to discuss a lot of things. We're going to invite a lot more people to talk about something really important, especially if you're a student studying in Singapore. Right behind me, or those of you guys are listening to podcasts, it's about transiting from a secondary school to a JC life environment. And there are so, literally so many things that's going to happen in this transition. What I want you guys to understand is this, before I step into the main thing about this podcast, which is our lecture tutorial system, it's like a whole new thing which I'll cover in this podcast, I'd like you to understand why is this podcast made for you. Now, first thing, right, is that this two years, okay, this two years studying in a JC for your A-levels, right, this is when you will mature a lot, and I mean it. From me starting to being a JC1 student to where I am right now, there's a huge, huge change. Not only socially, but as well, but academically as well. Really understand this. There will be two aspects of your life and two aspects which I'll cover in my future podcasts. You will mature a lot. And if you guys are actually an O-level student, right? I think you have probably heard your friends saying, Oh my god, A-levels is hard. They demonize A-levels like it's so hard. Social life, the amount of stuff you need to cover, the amount of CTAs, all the work. I totally understand that because this two years is going to be harsh on you but don't be scared don't set that immediate expectation that you you know suddenly have to become social suddenly you're gonna do well just be yourself and I think this podcast will really help you cover a lot of experiences that you guys will be facing and talking about experiences there are two categories that most likely you will fall into and I want you guys to really reflect and think about Education, concerning education school life, right? Maybe you are more about education. You focus a lot more on education and you are a bit more quiet, more reserved in terms of social life. Or you are a totally socializing extrovert, which is not me, I'm the opposite. And you don't really want to spend too much time studying. You want JC life to be more enjoyable and a very social aspect of viewing JC life. Both are fine. But I'll tell you one thing for sure. Like for sure, I mean it. The one day which you did not focus on, be it education, social life, that is gonna hit you hard. That is gonna hit you hard. For me, right? I was so much on education, that social life, man, like I felt so alone. I did talk with, I did, you know, like talk with a group, a small group of friends, but you know, it hit me hard. I realized where my weaknesses was, and I matured a lot, and you guys will mature through these two years experience. Hope you guys understood that, and let's jump right into today's topic, which is lecture tutorial system, which concerns education and academics, right? Why is it lecture tutorial system? For those of you guys, right, I believe that a lot of you guys, right, aiming for those high JCs like Ibrafos, or Chong, or just ACJC or NJC, or any JC in fact, if you have went to their orientation, right, they will bring you, they will literally bring you through a tour of the entire school and be like, oh, so, and then the student leaders are like, oh, this is like lecture theatre, this lecture theatre one, this lecture theatre two, this is where a lot of people congregate. Yes, and you're probably forcing yourself to literally be courageous to ask this question. Am I going to feel alone in this journey? Are teachers going to become less accessible? These are questions which I totally understand and I've been through and I'm telling you guys like those questions are gonna kill you quite hard but not really, not really. Like, let me, let, let's understand this together. Okay, well, lectures right, involve a lot of people sitting down together. Okay, students sit together like literally the entire, it's, it's categorized by subject. Perhaps the JC people would say it's a great way to you know transit, it makes the transition from JC life to university life much easier because in university there'll be lectures right which I think you guys know so I don't want to go deep into that but the main questions are like will you feel less alone will teachers be less accessible I think no not really for me right how I maintain good teacher contact because I think if you guys are from O levels right you probably felt this in O levels you have to just sit in a classroom but your teachers will come. Your teachers are the ones that are frantically running around. If you guys have experienced, right? Your teachers are 10 minutes late for your class for when you're studying for your O-levels, right? Your teacher is 10 minutes late, you can't, don't, doesn't know where your class is, 
and you guys are like guys are all at the back of the class playing football or like with some random people ball or like some people ganging up and teachers are the one who frantically searching around no now in A levels you have to be the one that's moving around to different lecture theatres and take responsibility of your own education now, I'm not trying to make it really really harsh on you about this transition okay of course I'm not only focusing on lectures I'm actually focusing on tutorials as well. What is tutorials? Tutorials is exactly, exactly the same as the O-level experience, okay? It's exactly the same. Sitting in a classroom, your teachers will be the one coming. And this is where you get to discuss. So there'll be like questions, just like topical practices. If you can take it, if you guys understand what I mean. You have to just do your questions, do the homework, and then we discuss it during class. And honestly, like the first time, I'll be really honest, I thought like this, discussion is going to be really scary like I have to like step up and do this kind of things no not really like all you have to do right to maintain the contact with the teachers you can have consults totally fine you can ask questions don't be forced I think a lot of people like force themselves to ask questions no if you genuinely have questions to ask ask them or what I did which I think will help you guys is during the lectures you don't understand something that the lecturer is covering probably if the lecturer is kind enough you actually stay back and at the end of the lecture you can just go forward and ask and honestly right I think peer pressure will literally help you do that because a lot of people actually do that and don't be afraid of it it's, it's, it's going to be a new experience it's going to be really exciting now aside from tutorials I want to go more into lectures now depending on the subject combination if you guys are choosing physics, chemistry, math, economics which I did not choose, I chose physics, chemistry, math and geography that's why I have a balanced view on the big group lectures and small group lectures big group lectures involve people, science, math, economics, right? many people take it so there's so many people it's really probably around like depends like, like around 300 people sitting in the lecture theatre listening to one guy or one teacher I mean, during those lectures it's much much harder for you to have the courage to raise your hand and ask a question then in those cases you probably have to hold your question till the end till the lecture is over and then can just go to the teacher and ask that's perfectly fine now from my experience taking geography right which is a very small niche subject not many people take it for me it was around 100 students in my cohort and the lecture data won't be huge it will be pretty small so it's probably like just one story uh, probably around 100 students or 150 students get fit in at max now during those lectures right it will actually be really fun because you can raise your hand and ask a question you won't feel that social pressure around you to remain silent because it feels so much like a true bread like community of enthusiasts studying for a topic I felt so excited about geography because everyone around me was this small cluster of people that really loved and had a passion for geography and those of you guys right who are selecting the subject combinations I'll actually be talking about that in my future podcast I'll go really deep into like what the different subject combinations mean so be sure to stick around with that so I hope that this actually gave you a bit of insight into what lecture tutorial systems actually mean and how the transition from O levels just being in those small group classes and your teachers running around to find where your class is to a lecture system where you need to go for that room for that lecture theatre to attend your class it's going to be a really really interesting transition and you're going to really enjoy the experience don't be scared about it okay so thank you guys for watching today's podcast be sure to stay tuned about my next one which I'll talk about subject combinations like PCME, PCMG, biology a lot of these stuff versus art and science streams something we'll talk about in my next podcast so thank you guys for watching today's podcast and stay tuned for my next podcast i'm your host kj shreeman and see you